Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of the basics you need to know in using Google Drive for the first time. This video is the first in a series of videos I'm going to do about using Google Workspace in your classroom and with your students. This series is designed for the first time Google Workspace user or those who might need a little refresher course. Let's go ahead and get started. And we're going to start with using Google Drive because Google Drive is the place where all your Google Workspace files are eventually going to end up. So we can find it at google.com slash drive or just type in drive.google.com and you'll get there. And let's go to drive. And here I am in my brand new Google Drive account. You can see I don't have anything in here. Now, the first thing you should know if you're a new Google Drive user is the settings. And let's go up here to this little gear icon. That's where we're going to control all of our settings. And let's click on settings. We can see our storage. Now, your storage may vary based on the type of account you have. But at a minimum, you're going to have at least 15 gigs of storage available to you. Now, we can go down here and change our language. We have an offline option. Now, if you are in a school setting, your school may have disabled this option for you. Otherwise, you can turn that option on. However, it's important to note that you don't want to do that on a shared or public computer. You can adjust the density or the size of the display. The default is comfortable, and so we'll leave it at that. We have this option for suggestions. One of the cool things about Google Drive is that you can always do a search up here for your files. Really handy once you have a lot of files in there and the suggestions will try to guess at what you're searching for. You can go over here and turn on notifications. If you wanna get a browser notification when new things are updated in your Google Drive, you can get those. You can also get an email notification. Now I will warn you, if you are using Google Workspace with your students and you have a lot of students, like one year I had 130 something students on my course roster, you probably don't want those notifications turned on because your email will get blown up with notifications. Likewise, your browser will be notifying you all the time if you have a lot of students and you have a lot of students sharing files with you. Now you also have your manage apps here. And again, if you're in a school setting, many of these are going to be managed by your IT administrator. And we'll talk about these additional apps later on in this series. Now, another really important feature for new users is to know that you can import your favorite Microsoft files right into Google Drive and access them from your Google Drive. Now, one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into those settings and I'm going to select Convert Uploads to Google Docs Editor Format. Now, this will apply not only to documents, but also to slides and spreadsheets that I import into my Google Drive. And there's a couple of ways that we can do this. So we're going to import a PowerPoint file. I have a favorite PowerPoint file that I've used for years and I want to import it into my Google Drive. So I can do that by going to New and then selecting File Upload. And I can search for it on my desktop if I want to or wherever I have it stored on my Windows 10 computer here. Or I can simply drag it from my desktop as I see over here into Google Drive and we'll have that file now uploading. And we can see here it's now converted into Google Docs or Google Drive format. Now, one of the things to note is that if you have imported a PowerPoint file that has a lot of transitions or animations in it, some of those may not import correctly may not and you may have to go in and reformat some of those things but i can now just double click on this 
and we can see there are my slides. I've got my three slides and everything looks good. And I can still go in and edit any of this. I can go and click and drag and move those pieces around. And I can edit that, I can make that bold, I can change the font style. You can do all of those things I would normally do in PowerPoint. Let me make a font color change and there we go. So that's the basics of setting up your Google Drive. In the next video, we're gonna look at folders and layout and how to adjust the folders and layouts in your Google Drive. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.